Eye, this is the Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Smuggler in the Blind, episode 27. It's the story finale where I'll finish the Smuggler story as well as all the companion story in this episode. We'll probably have to leave the companion stuff till the very end because the door's there. I'm not going to leave this area and have to come all the way back. The door is right there to the next area to go to. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was walking down there. I was like, oh. I should try, probably try to avoid him, but no. Where'd Risha go? Risha? Where the heck are you? I can see you're over here somewhere, but you're actually not there. You're there. Oh, there you are. Okay. Tell you what, this is going to be a fun day. You know why? Because I've got to do five episodes worth of recording today. Just today. Sunday. Yeah, before Tuesday. Yep. Got to do the smuggler, as I'm doing today. Then I've got to record this is Inquisitor episode 28 to do open the two packs which I got. And then I've got to do episode 28 of the smuggler as well. Now, I know I've not got any packs on this character, but here's, 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 here's my plan. Here's my plan. If, when I open the packs on the Sith Inquisitor, it just opens up in my stash, then in my pack viewer, then I'll just open the first set on my Sith Inquisitor and then come over to my Smuggler and open the neck, the left, the the the, the, the rest. Yes. However, what I'm also going to do because Dark Forces Light is ending pretty soon, and it is Dark Forces Light, I'll buy a super crate. I'll buy a super crate in each episode, just just to fill in a bit of like five minutes, just to make it a bit. I don't know, a bit. I don't know what's the word. I I have no idea. I'm just making up what's going on. So there's that, and then, then and then and then and then and then, I've got to record the finale of the Sith Warrior. I know, and then I've got to record the epilogue. Can you remember a long time ago when I did coffee? I did like, like a, um, a prologue. Well, now I've got to do an epilogue. And then I've got to do a prologue to Kotet! Ah! So, yeah, technically five episodes worth. Not really for like the next, for like the last two things, but okay, say four episodes worth. But even so, I've got a lot to do. Actually, no, we're looking at four and a half episodes worth, because there's this episode, then there's the next two Smuggler and Inquisitor, and then Sith Warrior. Yeah, four and a half. Just defeat the droids. Hello, droids. What a lovely welcome, officer. I appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, my welcome is a uh, death and you go to hell. At least, I don't know. Do you go to hell? Defeat the... Oh, I was going to say, def I just defeated him. I need to loot him. I need to go over there, apparently. Not over there. Not just yet. Console, console, console. Locate the elevator to the command deck. Would that be over there? Where I'm meant to go anyway. Uh, yes, I think. Yes! A thing I'm more excited about finishing this episode, by the way, is that once I have, I get the little icon. Ah! I get the, I, I can't remember what the Galactic Legends sort of icon. No, that's, uh, I don't know. I, I just get the little icon for completing all the class stories because I would have finally completed them all. Uh, and then maybe at some point I'll rank them, but I probably won't. Thing is, I feel like before I rank them, I need to play them on both dark and light side. Now, this has been more of a neutral kind of playthrough. Um, so I wouldn't exactly call this dark or light. Same with my trooper, really. I mean, if I were to go on my character thing, what is it more at? It is more light, but we are still on neutral. So, I don't know, what, what do I really say? Defeat the Void Wolves Underboss, is that you? Indeed it is. Well, don't mind me, I'm going to use Heroic Moment because it's easier to do it this way. I still haven't turned on the hit points. I will do someday. Uh, just not today. Ooh, I'm wearing that. Yes. Hello? Hello? Which way am I going? That way. Hello? Don't mind if I uh, electrocute you, Imperial Commando? Well, that's done absolutely jack s, but nevertheless, it's doing a bit of damage to you. Oh god, we got far, far to go. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Well. Here's a thought. You're a female. That's a female holo dancer. Well, are we looking at her? Well, haha. -ha. I'll leave you in peace, shall I? No, I'm not actually going to kill you because I might as well use my hero memory or something. Do you mind? I was trying to use Orbital Strike before my heroic moment disappeared. Oh, 
You see? Now it's disappeared. You see? I. At least I got to use Orbital Strike on you, though. There you go. At least in your last two minutes of your life, you were thinking about a sexy lady. So, that's a plus side. I should really get myself a stim. Might help the situation. Thank you. I got a bunch of med packs as well. I got a bunch of stuff I need to sell. Oh. Um. Oh. Bonus mission. Why the hell not? And I say that as well. Well, I'm going to have to go this way anyway. So I might as well just get myself a little bit of an experience, you know? Always thinking. La 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 la. Why, why are you setting off an alarm? As long as nobody's going to come and attack me. Oh, I'll be happy. Oh, hello. Well. As you guys, you don't count. Alright, and give me my bonus experience, please. Four, five. Whoa! Level 53 as well, and somebody shot a gun as well. Even better. Do I get any new abilities? But I d yeah, I didn't check. Did I get any new abilities? Uh, haha! -ha! Illegal mods. Chris range detected. Just... Cool! Hi, Taylor. Rolls forward 80 meters, purging. Cool! Whoa, that was crazy. Right, uh, are we going to go through this door? I know we've got to go the other way, but can I go through this door? No, the door is locked. But I'm going to have to go through there anyway to get back to where I need to go. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just going to walk around because I can't bother to kill any of you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Oh. Hello. Hello. And there's the Void Wolf. So you know what I might as well do? For a moment, because it will still be there once I finish the cutscene. Yeah. Hi, Voidy. You three have nominated yourselves to lead my fleet. I am Trismal the Merciless. My ship is the terror of the skies on twenty planets. The Republic calls me Iceheart, for I have never shown mercy. I am Lunata. Imperial intelligence marked me their most wanted for the thousands I slew on Scylla. Did I ask for your credentials? What do I care if you want to get yourselves shot first? Oh. That's always been your problem, Voidy. Can I call you Voidy? <laughs> you have to worry about the big picture. <laughs> I was calling Are you Voidy. offering to captain my fleet instead? Who is this? That's him. The one who found Noctrean. Leave. You know your orders. This is private business between a captain and me. You picked the wrong side. How hard do you want it to be to back out once he's dead? If he's dead, I have no reason to be part of this. Perhaps. I'll work for whoever's left standing. Bear well, your throat now, cub. Or prepare to have it torn out. Alright, let's defeat Voidy. And I got my hero moment. Lovely. Now the question is, will this be um, like three waves, or is this going to be like a one wave? Because I remember back in my Sith Warrior, how many waves was that? Three, something like that. How you feeling now, tough guy? Better than you might think. You just threw the same grenade twice. Oh dear. Okay. We done. Oh. That was, uh... Quick. Do we call you Admiral now, Captain? Who else would command such a fleet? It won't stay together long. It took a lot of threats and a lot of deaths to bring together this many ships with no grudges taking it down. If you have orders for us, I'd make them soon. Tell every ship in the fleet to send tribute to me. Then you're free to go. Easy enough. You missed an opportunity here, Captain. Don't think it will come again. Oh, I want my own fleet. I stupidly pressed three, didn't I? Oh well. Captain, we got a line into the Void Wolf systems from here. He's got some kind of failsafe counting down. I think you need to get out of there. Oh. So even if I wanted the fleet, I'm probably not gonna have it. That was the hangar with your shuttle, Captain. You need to find an escape pod. The ship's going to crash into Corellia. Great! 
All right, let's uh, make like a twig and uh, blow out of here. Wait, do twigs blow around? Ah, they do. Guys, you might want to run. The ship's blowing up. No, you want to stick around and die? All right. Besides, aren't I your captain now? Oh, you're dead anyway. I order you to die. Well done. Very well done. Let me do this quickly. Let me do this quickly. Woo! Yeah. And do that. Before it disappears. Might as well use it. How long have we got? Oh, 18 seconds. I have plenty of time. Oh, and I was worried. Oh my god. Can you just... Can you just not? Can you just, you know... Go. Leave. I can't be able to fight any of you. I mean, if I was a stealther, then I'd be able to. So I had to say this episode, by the way. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, I told you to go for the opposite of Gunslinger. This is what people voted for. People voted for Gunslinger many, many months ago. So I had to go with Gunslinger, right? I had the right to complain because people didn't vote for the right one. You guys, not really, because you guys voted for it. And if you're there saying, well, I voted for the opposite of Gunslinger. I, feel, I don't know what it's called. Uh, I voted for anti-Gunslinger. Well, you know what you should have done? You should have got your friends to vote. And then this wouldn't have happened. All right, we are an escape pod yet. No, almost there. Oh. Something blew up there. Oh, my God. Seriously, just go away. Uh... Do you mind if I just sneak by? Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Droid. Is crash landing on Corellia any better? In a escape pod? Oh, well. I guess so. Oh, we're done. Cool. Is this gonna be it? We're just like, oh, kill the Void Wolf. It's Lan and Corellia. Celebration. All right, we're done. Is that really all it's gonna be? I guess we'll find out. It just, it just seems like too quiet of an ending at the moment. I know there were some explosions in the background and whatnot, but I don't know. I, it's like most, most other stories like to go for a boom. Oh my God, that's amazing. Kind of ending. Oh. Okay, yeah, made a bit of a big kaboom. Um, wait, where are we going? We're, we're going, we're going. Uh, all the way back to the shipyard, so don't mind me. This is where we find somehow the Void Wolf miraculously survived. And he's just coming for one last shot at me. Or something like that. Probably not, that would be a bit too far-fetched. For me, anyway. Uh, right, hello? Anybody around? You have more than justified my faith in you. You had faith in me? Gentlemen, ladies, this is the man I told you about, who destroyed Grand Admiral Haradax Kirill and saved our shipyards. My son is an engineer at those shipyards. You saved his life. Captain, this is Senator Roan. Fleet Admiral Halleck, Supreme Commander Rands. Of course, you recognize the Supreme Chancellor. Suresh. They've come to thank you for dispersing the Void Wolf's fleet. You're making me feel almost respectable. Captain, I am pleased to present you with the Senatorial Medal of Service. That's the highest civilian award the Republic issues. You have changed the tide of this war. Is there much market for that sort of award? <laughs> this is a priceless honor! Captain's just trying to get a rise out of you. I don't think you're running short on credits, Captain. You seem to have a talent for this. Would you give some thought to continuing as a privateer under my guidance? I've never worked under a Jedi before. Ugh, you're incorrigible. This will offer many new experiences for both of us. I'll be in touch with the details. It seems there are times when it's an advantage to have an operative who isn't bound by the rule of law. I never thought I'd see you on the Jedi Order's payroll, Captain. Where to now? Does the Republic think they have bought your loyalty with stamped silver on a ribbon? 
Only you could manage to turn taking over the Underworld into a good citizenship award. I'll get Port Noir back up and running, Captain. You're going to need a base of operations, and someone at the wheel you can trust. No offense, but you're better at finding credits than keeping them. Even my father needed a broker for his empire. Gives you time to do the fun part. Ah, gotta love those sort of shots. Why they all conveniently stand in a line, as if they know the camera's there. And that is chapter three. Da da done. Da da done. Does that mean I get Living Legend now? Is it called Living Legend? I have no idea. But do I get my? I should get my little icon. Yay! That's my little icon. Yay! I got my little icon. I got my little icon. I'm so happy. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> let's let's go to my ship. And let's speak to my companions and finish their companion stories. Hopefully you haven't got to go anywhere with Corso. But most likely we've got to. Because he's always there to ruin my bloody life. Yeah, I just feel like the smuggler just kind of ended. It was just, oh, hey, yeah, cool. We're, we're done. We're, we're done. All right, fair enough. Oh, we can do Shadow Revan now. I could skip my cab and go straight to Shadow of Revan. Ooh. Anyway, uh, let us go and speak to Corso. Look, Captain, I try not to get sentimental around you, but hear me out. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> You're my family, as much or more than the one the Separatists took. Are you joking? As long as I live, I'll be here to serve you and your children after if I last so long. Oh, here we go. They're all gonna look after my legacy. Don't get all sappy on me. You're my crew. That's all I need. Then I'm honored to be a part of it. And seriously, keep that children thing in mind. You've got too many talents not to pass them on. Every kid needs an uncle who's good with a DXR6 heavy carbine. You be my children's uncle? Ha! <sighs> Think not. I think not. Is that all I've done? Am I done? Am I done with you? Yeah, I'm done with Corso. I never have to speak to him ever, 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 ever again. Ever again. Ever again. Anyway, about that. I have not had a family for a hundred years. On Kashyyyk, I remember, we spoke of honor families. They were bound as close as any child of your body. I think of you as family too, Bodar. You honor me, Captain. For as long as you and your children need me, I will serve as your protector. Again, legacy. It should be another good century before I lose my edge. Well, that's good to know. That is good to know. So, Corso will look after my legacy. Bodar will look after my legacy. Uh, Gus, are you going to look after my legacy too? You know you're the kind of guy... You know where you stand. Either you're laughing or you're shooting. Kind of both. I would have done much better with someone like you. Master Lauren was just ice. You had no idea if he even knew you were in the room. If I could, I'd teach you what to do with that lightsaber. Oh, Captain. If you were my master, I might have practiced. Or at least not released the Kowakian monkey lizards into your dressing room. Ah, uh, what? Maybe that was a bad plan. Huh? You just what? You did what, Gus? Let's just, rather than go around, let's just do their stories and then we'll be Captain, done. Captain, I just want to say thank you. I could never have imagined you would put up with me for this long. When I first came on board with you, I thought it was going to be a few weeks at most before you left me on some isolated moon. Tempting. Once you're in my crew, you're family. Oh, Except Corsa. Captain, you'll make me cry. Seriously, though, this is my family. More than the Jedi. More than the one I was born to. I've never been able to be myself anywhere like I have with you. I'll never leave you. Except, you know, when Kotek comes around and Kopfi, then you'll leave me. But I'll find you again. I'll find you. Well, he didn't mention my children, but he mentioned being part of my family. So I'll take that as looking after my legacy. 
Uh, Spa, you gotta look after my legacy, even though you hate me and I hate you. Tiyari Rook claims to lead his own clan. He destroyed my clan with his slander and then dares to raise up his mishmash of slavers and pirates and call them Clan Rook. The scandal! And no one has challenged them. Ah! Oh. Haven't the other Mandalorian clans got wind of this? Shouldn't they be angry too? Rook is careful. Anyone who could speak against him is already dead or dishonored. This isn't even the worst of it. The man I was with when my people fell. His clan lost all honor after I left. They joined Clan Rook. My old lover dishonors the name, Mandalorian. That coward dies with the rest of Rook's filth. Killing the man who betrayed your clan is one thing. Killing everyone who works for him seems a little extreme. If Rook's followers run like the cowards they are, they might survive. Rook's clan is on Hutta, bowing and scraping for the cartel. The scum have no discipline. Destroying their camp will be easy. When I'm finished, it will be as if Clan Rook never existed. I leave for Hutta immediately. If you could stay there, that'd be good. You look... well, not exactly happy. Less angry than usual. It's over. The filth who destroyed my clan and dishonored its name is dead. I'm guessing the real story's a little more complicated. Wouldn't mind hearing it. There was little to tell. It was violent and brief. Before he died, Rook confessed his crime. He destroyed my clan because the lie gained him a favorable contract with the Empire. He killed my people for profit, nothing more. The galaxy is no poorer without him. People who do terrible things for profit. Boy, I'm glad I don't know anyone who fits that description. No, no. Before taking profit, always analyze the cost. I could not have avenged my people without the resources and opportunities you've provided. I will repay that debt, Captain. Well, we repay that debt by looking after my family. For the first time in months, I've allowed myself to think about the future. Someday this war must end. What will you do when the Sith Empire rules the galaxy? Will you transfer your loyalties to them? What if your profession is outlawed? Have you been following current events? The Empire's on the express hyperlane to nowhere. A Rancor becomes twice as deadly when it's backed into a corner. The only constant in life is change. A warrior prepares for whatever comes. Your talent for survival is impressive, Captain. But luck has its limits. Okay, cool. I have no clan. And the man who destroyed it is dead. Without clan or foe, I am no longer a Mandalorian. But I am still a warrior. And great ones don't allow old age to take them. To die in battle, dragging many foes into the void. That is a good ending. What do you think, Captain? I was planning to live forever. It's not as flashy as your idea, but it works for me. I should have known better than to expect a serious answer from you. Well, duh. A warrior's end requires a worthy foe. We should keep fighting until we find ours. Tomorrow we die. Today someone else will. Ibatua Jatne Tura Shad Kiramor. Yeah, Ibatua Jatne Tura is. Yeah, whatever. Something. Yeah. I was wrong. Oh, really? I've never heard you admit that. When I joined your crew, I told you I would never serve another's interests again. I could not trust anyone's purpose to suit my own. I was wrong. The longer I stay, the more loyalty I feel. There is nothing in my lifetime that could make me leave your side. Right. Are you sure about that? Like, really, really sure. Can a black screen, please? Thank you. Well, you didn't say you'd look after my legacy, but you said you'd never leave my side. So, you'll look after my legacy, yeah? And last, but certainly not least, the woman who will probably have my children one day. It's Risha. Things under Brilliant have taken a turn. The kings put a death mark on Count Renald's head. When the citizens heard that, they rebelled. The king imposed martial law to stop the rioting. But that got the aristocracy riled up. The whole planet's going to war. Where do the other nobles stand? Are they with the Count or the King? Some support Count Renald. Others remain loyal to the King. They're all looking to benefit from the fight. Needless to say, the Count has his hands full just staying alive. 
But even with all that's happened, he still wants to marry me. I can't keep putting him off. Any advice how I should play this? You can't marry the Count. You're spending the rest of your life with me. What? I asked you for advice, not... Do you really mean that? Oh, perfect. Time's up. That's him calling on the Hollow. All right. Let's do this. <sighs> Merit, I'm glad you're safe. From what I hear, the fighting got worse after you escaped. Lovely view again. I cannot spare De Brilliant from war, but perhaps we can still create a better future together. I realize forging a true relationship takes time, and our marriage won't be consummated for some time, but I am hopeful. My proposal stands, dear Risha. Will you marry me? Come on. This is a no-brainer. I mean, sure he's rich, handsome, and popular, but I'm... me. I'm sorry, Merit, but I can't argue with logic like that. He's had my heart longer than you. I hope we can still be friends. I'll need you to rebuild our world when the war ends. Of course. I look forward to the day you grant me amnesty, so I may return to Debrillion. Farewell, Risha. May the stars watch over you. Yay. That ended better than I expected. Except for that whole part with my world being at war. You said no to the Count's proposal, but I seem to recall you had a second offer on the table. It's under consideration. I promise not to keep you waiting for long. That's enough politics and relationship issues for one day. Let's go steal something expensive. I always feel better after a good caper. Nah, because there's still some more talking to you, I believe. If I believe that icon is telling the truth. Yes! I don't know why it brought me all the way over here. I don't appreciate that game. Thank you very much for that. Hello again, Risha. Didn't think you could still surprise me, but proposing in front of Count Reneld, that was a whammy. I wasn't sure if you were serious then, but I am now. And my answer is yes. Whatever happens, however long it takes, when I'm finally Queen of Debrillion, you'll be my king. Did I actually propose in front of you? I just said that I'm me. That's all I really did. You think the people of your world are ready for a guy like me? No one's ready for you. That's what makes you perfect. We'll have a royal wedding someday, but let's do something personal right now. I, Risha Drayen, take you as my future king. I promise to be faithful and always apologize when I get snippy with you. <laughs> except when you're wrong. Oh. I'm not always right, sweetheart, but when have I ever been wrong? Don't ruin this moment by forcing me to be honest. As queen, I promise to keep you in the lifestyle to which you've become accustomed. Plus 10 to 20% depending on good behavior. I accept all your terms. Can we be married already? Yes. Yay! Uh. What do you say we make this even more official? Well... So, how does it feel to be married? Come to my quarters this time. I've made some modifications for you. How can I resist that offer? God, that busy, busy, busy! You never told me you were an engineering genius. I'm staying in the captain's quarters from now on. Oh. It occurs to me that with the Void Wolf dead, we've run out of trouble. Let's go make more. Find that funny! Where she just said that, I'm, I'm, made me think of that I have other methods to pleasing her in the bed. I've been thinking about the future a lot lately. And I had a funny realization. Every scenario I see, you're in it. Yay! I guess that's only right, all things considered. But still, never thought I'd get this close to anyone. We've traveled a long way. If you had to do it again, would you change anything? The harder the flight, the sweeter the landing. And we're still flying. When we take over Debrillion, we'll need to start thinking about producing an heir. Maybe more than one heir. That's how dynasties stay healthy, after all. The more, the merrier. I'll put the little scoundrels to work building me a new ship. Great idea. Father taught me all about starships when I was growing up, and I turned out great. Just think, someone with my intelligence and your reflexes, there's nothing that child couldn't accomplish. We owe it to Debrillion. Whatever happens, I promise any child of ours will have the best of everything. 
And let's talk about the children. Sweet. Well, we're done. We're done, guys. I've played every single class. The only thing I haven't done, and I need to find it now, is a. Uh, what I'm looking for? I'm looking for that. I haven't spoken to every companion on my consular. Or my bounty hunter, for that matter. I mean, I did say I was going to do a bounty hunter playthrough. I might start that next year. So, perhaps I could. Maybe I could start it this week. Maybe. Just, nah, because Co Kotet's out. And I don't really want to be starting it and then... I don't know, maybe, 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 sorry, I'm stretching here as I'm talking. Ugh. Maybe I'll record the first episode and then start it once I've finished Kotet. Because then I still would have made the character in Dark vs. Light. Maybe I'll still get some of the objectives for Dark vs. Light for completing a character. Because some of the objectives for Dark vs. Light, they, they are with a character created during the Dark vs. Light event. Yeah, complete the Shadow Reverse Light with any character created during the Dark vs. Light event. Right. With any character created during the Dark vs. Light event. Created during the Dark vs. Light. Created for during the Dark vs. Light. Created. 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 Right, okay. So. Created. All. Wait, so all of the objectives have been changed to created with the Dark vs. Light event. This didn't happen. This has now changed. So, if I create one of every single class today, I can still get all the achievements another day. Right. Right. Okay. So, it's made me think. Do I wait a little while? Maybe, I don't know, until next year when I eventually do try and do them all again because created during the Dark Vs. yeah they, they're all created during the Dark Vs. Live event they've changed it I swear they have maybe maybe it was bugged before so I'm excited now that I can do this anytime I like so I can actually get the bloody companion at some point that's great hooray so I'm debating do I leave it until I've done more progression on my Sith Inquisitor and Smuggler before I come and open the packs or do I I don't know. Do I open them now and then open some dark versus light cartel market packs at the same time in the same episodes? And then do another episode a little while down a little way down the line. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. How about you guys decide for me? Just say in the comments if any of you are actually watching. And then I'll go from there. But, we've done the story now. We're done. We're done, ladies and gentlemen. Not that many of you watched, because uh, the viewership for The Smuggler was terrible. But, the episodes are there if you wanted to watch it in the long run. So, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you. Stop doing that with your head. Thank you.